Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kasha Kynes and I am CEO and founder of EBV Global Institute. Today we're going to talk about some simple hacks within the budget of 100 bucks. This was my goal in mind uh, to decrease the load of EMF slash Wi-Fi technology uh, because it does affect our community. EBV is an opportunist and it loves, loves uh, Wi-Fi technology. So in our community, um, people really are impacted. Um, and point point uh, to that is my personal story. Uh, it took a lot to for my, for my life to uh, experience EBV. Uh, it did happen uh, about a year ago and more recently when I moved into this house. Uh, it took a combination of mold, uh, that we missed and smart meter that I was waiting to be replaced, removed uh, for me to reactivate and um, my symptoms was vertigo. Uh, luckily, I know what to do. I understood what happened and I was able to turn all that off within 48 hours. Never again got vertigo. So um, I'm going to be on the phone today because I want to walk uh, in my house and show you some things, simple things that you can do. I'm going to show you right here, hands on. Um, so let's start. I'm going to talk about how many issues I want to tackle today. Six different uh, simple things for you. We don't live in a bubble. I don't live in a bubble. We have to be practical. When you have chronic EBV, you're already very taxed. You have brain fog. Your resources are scarce. You're exhausted. Like It's all complicated. So let's do something very simple that I see that I have to address every single day in our community. And it just ah makes a huge difference. So let's start with the phone. I'm actually on the phone right now. You can get a little thing here. See this? So you prevent touching it every inch further away from um, uh, electronic devices is better i'm standing you know at a distance um and so you can you don't even have to use fingers you can use this um let's say you do and don't do put it on a stand let me show you i have it on a stand let me show you the stand there it is okay I don't promote anything specific, but I do love one company called Wellness uh, Tech Tech T E C H uh, Tech Wellness. It's a fantastic company. Everything is research and the products work, and I got that there. So do put it on a stand. Do put it on speakerphone. Do not hold your phone next to your ears, and do use um, earpiece that is not wireless. This is air tubes. They are fantastic. The best I found. Uh, Tech Wellness has it. August, uh, the woman who created that company is very methodical. It's very hard to find good uh, air tube uh, ear pieces. So air prevents any, any electric current, any Wi-Fi. None of that is going to get into your brain. Uh, what else do I want you to do? Only use the phone when you call. When you don't call, turn it off. As simple as that. Do not, do not put it next to your ear. Put it on speakerphone. That's what I like to do. You know, understand speakerphone, hands off. Um, <clears throat> if you have low bars, it means that the phone is working really hard on the connection. So this is not the best idea to make phone calls because you're going to get more, more exposure. It's going to be uh, much stronger. One of the other don'ts, is do not please stop using your cell phone as an alarm clock uh, when i go downstairs to go outside hi robin i'm going to show you my little uh non-electronic uh traditional alarm clock actually august finally added traditional kind of european looking um alarm clocks just battery run not electronic digits nothing to stimulate the lights uh, to stimulate your pineal glands is very important. Uh, so please stop using that phone. And if you have to wear it on you, if I wear my phone, if I'm not calling it off, get off, get out of the habit of having your phone on and having it on, turned on. Uh, August has fantastic pouches, Faraday box 
kind of pouches that you can you can put your phone in and hang on you or put it in the purse if you need to have it on uh, and these actually work there's a lot of pouches on the market they don't necessarily all work so i trust august tech wellness again you can get a lot of these things including the earpiece including the this including the the stand that i have okay uh number two the router walk you through and show you my router faraday box is what you need it's a simple physics principle so let me show you here it is it's not expensive um you can get it online in many places so basically um it helps prevent some of the most detrimental uh radiation but when i put this on this is a a meter um when i put it next to it even in the faraday box it's still extremely high let me show you i have my computer on i have my cell phone on and i can tell you that it's going to be raging this is, says slight moderate high extreme I'm in the green only if I unplug the router. So you can unplug the router for the night. There's ways to pre-schedule it. So maybe 11 p.m. or 10 p.m. every night it turns off and then it turns on again at 7 a.m. So you can, you know, you can you can have those done. I just unplug it. Uh, if I don't, you're gonna see this says extreme. So I have all the appliance, all the things turned on right now. So watch this. It's right there. It gives you reading. Pretty scary, yeah? Um, okay, so <clears throat> very easy. Just turn it off for the night at least. Put it in the Faraday box. To, uh, keep it in Faraday box. And that's for now. You know, you can just do Ethernet. Not everybody can afford fiber optics for $10,000. <laughs> I certainly can, I wish. Uh, number three. Every inch of distance between you and your electronic device, your router, your computer, your phone matters. It really does. And smart meter as well. The further you are, the better. So when I had smart meter and set against that wall where the smart meter was below on the outside of the house, that triggered me. But when I moved my, uh, my uh, desk to the other side of the room, that already tur helped turn that that issue off so it's a huge difference um and uh smart meters is another one so i'm gonna walk you outside and show you uh let me see here now uh observation so that you know mode and wi-fi technology don't mix very well and if you add ebv to it it's a very bad combination so if you have mold Wi-Fi technology and EBV, it's really going to be hard. You're going to get much worse. Just heads up because we see that all the time. Okay, smart meter, I'm going to show you. Again, Faraday box. You can get these Faraday boxes on um, smartmeterguard.com. Literally, they have the router uh, boxes. They have smart meter boxes. However, if you think about it, if this is smart box and I put it over it, I'm blocking some of the detrimental rays coming that way, but somebody standing behind uh, this wall on the other side, there will still be exposure, supposedly not, but yes, it happens. So if I can, if I block my, you know, if I block it outside, I'm helping my neighbor more, <laughs> but it's still coming inside the wall that's a bit of a problem so the best thing is to actually call your electricity provider and ask them to have it removed and bring back an analog traditional meter they will charge you to come about 100 bucks and they will probably add about seven eight dollars to your monthly bill that's what they do i think it should be illegal but that's what it is next thing number five blue light pineal gland brain function there's a lot of studies actually, I think 2000s or so about detrimental effects of Wi-Fi technology on the brain, on the human cells and so on and so forth. Like I said, for EBV, it's particular de particularly detrimental. 
<clears throat> and so the blue light, all your electronic devices can have blue light turned off. You just Google, how do I turn up blue light on my phone? How do I turn up blue light on my, uh, on my uh, Mac, on my PC, <laughs> on my iPod? It'll take you 30 seconds, 15 seconds. I did that. Can't tell you how to do it because I don't remember. I just followed instructions. Um, but the one thing you can turn it off on is your TV. And this is where you really need glasses. These are glasses uh, for prescription glasses. So if I have regular prescription glasses and I want to watch a movie and protect my brain, I can put that on. But, you know, these are also um, blue blocking glasses. These are blue blocking glasses. I have one more pair. I have a lot of them. Uh, we have like 40 different glasses on our website, uh, different styles and sizes. So have a pair. It's not expensive. Have it by your TV. Whenever you watch TV, put it on automatically. Uh, let me see here. And the last, uh, the last piece of advice that I want to give you is number six, grounding. Because no matter how much uh, Wi-Fi technology we have, this creates more positive um ionization so negative ions are in the ground in the soil in the trees in the water um uh, in the rain so if you can step outside every day and put your feet on the ground without shoes if it's warm enough it's great or at least hug the trees get that uh, conduction going there are shoes now that some manufacturers make that have a little copper in the sole of the shoes so you still conduct from the soil so something to investigate but just getting outside really in nature and connecting to that soil is very grounding so the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go outside and show you um what i have hold on i want to show you my um alarm clock of course don't get dizzy because i'm walking here very simple, not plugged in, just uh, one battery. See, very, very simple, quiet. You can turn off the lights. That's all you need. Please, no electronics in your bedroom. And then let's take a look at, I have my smart meter removed. Just wanna show you, it looks like smart meter, but it says, Typically, smart meter says smart meter on it, so it's easy to know. So give me a moment. Again, hopefully you're not getting dizzy. So my neighbor still has one, so I, I have a smart meter guard, so I'm going to eventually talk to her about that. So this is actually not a smart meter. Let's see. And if I put my, it still says extreme. It does say extreme, but that's because last night I uh, turned off my router because the router is about right there, very close. You see how powerful that router is? It's a brand new router, very powerful. <clears throat> so it is extreme, but last night I checked when the router was off and it was green so it actually is not is not a problem because it's not a smart meter but you definitely want your smart meter removed if you don't have resources you just want to put the faraday box over the router and turn the router off at least for the night and so these are my tips hopefully <clears throat> This can make your life a little bit easier and really it will make a positive impact on your EBV, trust me, on your brain, on your fatigue, on your brain fog, on your sleep, on your headache. Um, very important that you clean it up and decrease it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, Michelle. Thank you, guys. Stephanie and Heidi and Salvi. Oh, Nick. Nick, Nick, Robin. Thank you for attending. I hope it was a great review if it's, if it's not new. And if you haven't really tackled it, these are very simple things within 100 bucks budget, I believe, that you can tackle even if you're really, really sick. So good luck with the project. And 
If you feel better, let us know. I would like to celebrate that it turned down the volume on EVV just because of this.